Hey everyone, it's James from the Fit RV, and I am here with Chris Beanert from Winnebago. Hey everyone. So it's been a year, and I know there are about 250,000 of you that are super excited to see what's behind us. Chris, what is it? Okay, year in the making, meet the Revel. Ta da! So, what exactly, how are you describing this vehicle? Well, the Revel is a gear hauling adventure vehicle that we designed to help our customers enjoy the outdoors and just have amazing adventures on and off the road. Awesome. So I am super excited to see this thing. I know you are too. I can already see some things that are different from the concepts you guys floated a year ago. Yep. So let's get at it. All right. Okay, so let's start by just uh, going over the chassis. This is, it looks like the same Mercedes 4x4 you had in the concept vehicle, right? It is. It's the same 144 inch wheelbase, standard length Sprinter, uh, four wheel drive, Mercedes four wheel drive system. Six cylinder? V6, absolutely, 188 horsepower. Wow, so this is the, that's the same drive, well not minus the 4x4, but the same drivetrain you'd use in a much larger motorhome, right? That's right, that's right. We'd use this out to a you know, 25 foot RV. This one is 19 and a half feet. So you have plenty of power to get you where you need to go. And to get you there, I'm noting these are not stock Mercedes wheels or tires. What's going on here? No, uh, this is, act, is an option on Revel. Uh, we've upgraded the uh, uh, standard 16 inch steel wheel to an aluminum alloy 17 inch wheel. Well, there's and still plenty of clearance here. Yeah, there's still plenty of clearance. We kept the diameter of the tire the same. But the, uh, the tire we chose is the BF Goodrich uh, All-Terrain TA K02. Okay. And the reason we chose that is uh, looking at uh, people in the overlanding market and you know, what the tires that they were using, the tire that kept coming up was this BF Goodrich. And so that's what we selected. Uh, really ups the uh, all-terrain capability you know, real capability of the vehicle. And is, are the, the optional wheels, are they all blacked out like this? Yep, these are all blacked out uh, on the optional. And do you, is there a different body color or is it just silver? Good question. Um, we, we have got silver and we have a, a second color called pebble gray. Now if you order the pebble gray and you get the standard wheels, they're going to be painted jet black. So even the standard wheels on the pebble gray looks pretty good. Pretty cool. All right, let's move on back. All right. Okay, so on the side here, we've got running boards, but unlike a lot of vehicles where you just get like a little nub of a running board for the driver's side, this one goes all the way down. What's, what's why? Yeah, well, in an off-road situation, you want to try to protect the sides of the vehicle, and that's one of the functions of the running boards. Of okay, so usage. you're actually thinking this is going to be used by people to get actually pretty far out there. We expect them to get dirty. Okay, I'm noticing, what is this? We've got a, we've got a exhaust here, what's that about? Well, that's a little bit interesting. That's our diesel fired heating system. And really? We're gonna talk a little more about that when we get inside. Okay, um, moving down here, this is? City water supply. Okay, so, so if you're like driveway surfing at your buddy's house. Right, okay. right before you head off road. Yeah. Okay, cool. And this is, I know what this is, this is a cassette toilet. This is the, uh, the way you take it out through the side of the vehicle. Now, we tried a cassette toilet once. It kind of wasn't for us, but I think maybe for the market you're going for here, out in the wilds, and I mean the real wilds here, it's the right tool for the job. All right, well, we'll see that on the inside, the other half of it. Okay, so now when we saw the concept vehicle last year, you had little flares on the windows, but nothing quite this substantial. What's, what's this about? Well, we were using the, some shallower flares and we found so many people in our target market were just too tall. Too tall. So we had, we had our own flares uh, tooled up using a two-sided tool. So you see how nicely it fits along that's the side a nice there. nice even gap. Right, and that's because it's uh, uh, tooled on both sides. Okay. And the flare has a molded ABS inner with a gap in between that we have filled with insulation. Ooh, insulation. I like insulation. And speaking of insulation, you've got, this is a double paned window, right? This is. This is a dual pane uh, acrylic window that we're using uh, throughout the vehicle, every place we've added a window. Uh, they're very warm, mm -hmm. uh, or they'll keep the, uh, the, cold, the heat or the cold out. Uh, we can show you the blinds when we get inside. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the other thing to note being an awning style window. You can open it in the rain. You can have it open in the rain. Okay, cool. And we've got one of these windows in our RV and I can attest that's the coldest or warmest window in the vehicle depending yeah. on what you have your temperature set out. Uh, typical shore power plug or not so typical? Well, the shore power plug, of course, is going to charge your uh, coach batteries, mm -hmm. uh, of which there are three Group 31 AGMs. 300 amp hours-ish? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Which, as I know you know, is you're starting to talk about some serious power right, uh, right. at that level. Uh, so those batteries are going to be charged either from our shore power, which of course powers the whole coach, mm -hmm. or they'll be charged from the alternator under the hood. Okay. Okay. Uh, we've got an optional air conditioner because some parts of the country are just... You just got to have you it. You got to have it. Right. Um, and that's going to be powered through this plug. So, okay, so if you're, let's say you're like out and you had like a, just a Honda 2000 generator or something yes. like that, you can just plug it in there and you're good to go with the AC. Right. Okay, so AC, if you got to have it, if you don't got to have it, it's optional. You can If you don't got to have it, you're going to get a, uh, a covered vent fan uh, okay. in the bed area. Well, vent in the bed is not a bad thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go around to the back. Okay, so here on the back, I'm noticing it's black now, but you, you seem to have kept the same ladder that you had on the uh, concept vehicle that we saw yep. last year. So this removes... Removes here, and it can go along, any place along the driver's side, uh, took on the luggage rack, so you can climb up there to clean off your solar panels. Okay, cool. Or and load cargo. And we'll get up to the roof next, I think. Okay. And, and you've got what looks like a pretty beefy hitch down here, which... What's yep. the rating on this one? 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pound hitch. Tongue weight of 500, I'm assuming. Yep. All right, cool. So, oh, and what have we got here? We've got sewer hose storage. Yep. That's the uh, location for the three inch sewer hose. Okay, but we have a cassette toilet, so. But you still have a 21 gallon gray tank. Ah, for like shower water, sink water, whatever. Are you dumping with a three inch line? Whoosh. I guess so. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, mind if I go up? Absolutely. All right, so I see the air conditioner on here, but you said that's an option, right? That's correct. And no air conditioner, then you get a fan. You'll get a max fan. Okay, max fan. And there's a second max fan up there towards the front. Those are pretty high-powered fans, right? Right, and that fr the front fan is standard all the time. Okay. I see two solar panels. Is that standard or an option? That's standard. 200, 200 watts uh, total solar. Wow. Okay, and what's... There's like a little nub of an antenna up there. What's that about? Well, that's something new, and that's for our navigation system. Na that wasn't in the concept coach, was it? No, it was not. All right. <laughs> the roof. All right, coming back around on the starboard side, you've got a flare here, but this is not quite as big. Right, because you've got the sliding door. Because you got to clear. But is it still your own tooling and the same spiffy attachment? It's still our own tooling, the same attachment. Okay. And it still has the same level of insulation in it that okay. we have on the other side. Very important. And you've got outlets here, so do these run off of shore power or? They'll run off of shore power, or the coach comes standard with the 2,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Ooh, so those will run off the inverter? Yes. Okay, and this is? Solar panel plug. So you out somewhere, you can get a third panel, throw it out, angle it at the sun. Yep. A little more juice. Yep. Okay, cool. And I think that's about gonna do it on the inside. That is an awesome looking window, I love that. That's about gonna do it on the outside, let's go inside. All right. Sweet, you kept the lime green. That was in the concept coach, I really liked it. I'm glad you kept it. Yep, we kept the lime green. Um, this is a, or it's actually called Cool Kiwi. Uh, this interior colorway is called Gravity. Okay. But we've added a second colorway called Silver Springs. And with that one, the, all, it looks the same except the cabinet doors will have actually a bamboo grain Ooh. texture that's dyed a sort of a silver gray color. Okay. It's really pretty. So a bamboo. All right, now this is kind of similar to what we had on the concept coach, right? Right. We still have the table, flips down. There's a leg that screws, there's a leg on, that screws there. on the bottom. Okay. So you've got the utility there. And here we've got tank, and there's a tank fill here. What's, so we've got okay. two. So this is all for your freshwater tank. Right. You can power fill right here. Like a garden hose. Right, garden hose. Um, but if you're in, you know, out in the wilds, you want to add uh, fresh water from, say, jugs you brought with. Or fill, or pump fill. Or pump fill, whatever. whatever. This is a gravity fill. Okay. So you can use a funnel or... We've actually done that in our RV. So. Right. 
So I you get can it. extend your range that way. Okay. Um, Spray port. Okay. Freshwater tank drain, fine. And this is? This is an uh, uh, antifreeze pickup for winterizing the water system. Okay, so for putting it away. All right, cool. Um, and then this, if I remember right, this goes like this. You've got a countertop extension, right? I'm quizzing myself. And then this drops down, and that forms part of the, this makes a bed up here, right? Correct, it still makes a bed like the concept did. Or this is a beer shelf. Yes. <laughs> Can I say that in a video, beer shelf? All right, so we're in the cabin. When I was on the roof, I saw the other little nub of an antenna for, for this, and this is quite the large screen. What, this doesn't look normal. No, this is our Excite uh, MB9 uh, dash radio infotainment system. It's darn near small TV size. Right, so it's a nine inch screen, so you can see this in bright sunlight, no problem. Okay. Uh, of course, it's got your standard radio, Sirius, XM, or, uh, Sirius satellite radio. Okay. We've got our backup camera. Now this is kind of unique here. You know, we've got a conventional Looks view. like a backup camera. Of course, you can see here we have our, our doors open in the back there. Mm -hmm. But it gets a little more interesting here. If you want to view straight down. Straight down onto the hitch. Straight down onto the So if the you're hitch. backing up and you want to, you're trying to line something up. Right. Uh, and we, we don't have anything plugged into the hitch here. Right, so you can't, so you can't see, it. see it. But you can also take the horizon view. Oh, wow. So Super this is wide angle. It's like 180 or more. It, it is. It goes out 180 degrees right out to the uh, sides of the vehicle. Really nice when you're driving in traffic. Or if you're trying to drive around like a gas station island. You okay. bet. Absolutely. Okay, so... Uh, and then these down here, I, I see a USB jack and an HDMI jack. Right. Um, so you've got your, uh, your inputs and outputs there. You also have uh, an option for a JBL premium sound system. Ooh. So I have an amplifier in there. There's a subwoofer underneath the passenger seat. Nice. And we replaced the uh, Mercedes speakers with some uh, JBL speakers. Cool. All right. Anything else up here in the dash we should know? Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, always a plus. And also if you look over here, you can see the controls for the four wheel drive system. And the hill assist. And the hill of descent assist. Okay, cool. So we've got the high low range. Like, okay. Like I said, we've got this thing outfitted to really go off road. Right on. So this looks pretty similar to what we had. There are two seat belts here. Right. So there are four seat belted positions in this van. Right. Driver, passenger, two and in the then two here. There. Okay. This and I'm noticing there are ram mounts here and here. These are carried over from the concept. Carried vehicle. over standard. Okay. Some LED lighting. Okay. We got a USB plugs for presumably whatever you're plugging into the ram mount. Right. All right, table looks more or less the same, and it extends, I'm assuming. Flips over. Like that, all right. Uh, what else back here? Um, oh, we've got panels. We've got controls here, of course, our thermostat, our bed control. We'll uh, talk about that later. All right, solar charge controller, I know. Water pump, tank levels, okay. Control panel, very very Spartan control panel for the inverter. Right, still 2000 watt pure sine wave. Okay. Now remember with this inverter, we put all of the 12, all of the 110 volt outlets in the coach are on the inverter. So, all of them? Right. But not the air conditioner? But not the air conditioner. Okay. But with 2000 watts, you know, your laptops, uh, cameras, you know. I don't even run a hair dryer. Yeah, you've got no problem running any of that stuff, 2,000 okay. watts. All right, and so now this might be a good time to talk about this guy. Right, okay. This is our diesel-fired heating system. Okay. Now it will, runs off the diesel fuel. So, so you've only got one fuel source. One fuel. No messing with propane. No messing with the propane in this coach. Okay. It doesn't even have a propane tank. Awesome. Uh, it heats a glycol mixture. Okay. And it, like I said, this is going to be similar to what we use in a big diesel pusher motor home. Mm -hmm. The glycol will circulate through heat exchangers for your hot water, and it'll also heat, circulate through heat exchangers with little fans to blow warm air into the coach to heat it. Okay. Okay. Now, curious thing here, our fresh water tank and our drainage tank are below the floor. Right. So normally you'd worry about those freezing. Normally. Okay. But our freshwater tank is heavily insulated, and both of them have a glycol line that runs along the edge of the tank to heat the tank. 
So whenever the heating system calls for heat inside the coach, circulating it through it those circulates lines. them around through the tanks so you've below. You've got them. heated tanks. They're heated with diesel, not with electricity. Like exactly. a normal, a normal heating pad on a tank runs off 12 volt, and you'll drain right. your batteries pretty quickly. Right, and that's that wasn't going to work. Right. So we're heating them with the glyc the diesel heated glycol mixture. Interesting. Okay. So I'm down, I'm down. Little innovation from Winnebago. Right on. And just storage in here? Yep. You kept the storage cabinets. Now notice the frame here. It's aluminum. Yes. We used welded aluminum. And this is something that was not on the concept coach. Okay. All of our cabinets have welded aluminum frames. Stronger. And that's it, stronger. Again. Pretty light. It's lightweight, high strength, and again, off-road. We built this thing to really be used. Okay. Okay, so up above your head there, that's a Max Air fan. We've got that. It moves a lot of air. Right. The lights look different from what I saw on the concept coach. Have they changed? They've changed. Uh, They're still yep. LED. Still LED. A little different pattern. Okay. So. And now over here in the galley, this looks pretty similar. Pretty similar with some differences. Okay, what are the differences? Okay, so we still have our compressor-driven refrigerator. Okay. So Runs you know, off battery, no problems there. Runs off the 12-volt batteries. And as you know from all of your uh, work with batteries and compressor refrigerators... It'll run forever with two solar panels. You don't have to worry about it. And three Group 31 AGMs. Exactly. Okay. So we got a true induction uh, cooktop. So we're running the induction cooktop off the inverter, right? Right. Okay. Now with three, uh, again, with three batteries, you can get a Dutch oven full of water boiling mm -hmm. and keep it there literally for hours when you turn the heat down. Okay. So plenty of power for that. Yeah, because you don't, you don't cook for hours at a time, typically. Or if right. you did, you'd be out grilling or something. Right. And you're not cooking it wide open on your induction cooktop either. Right. Okay. So still have our stainless steel sink here. All right. Flip up faucet. Okay. A little curious thing with this one, for our drainage, yeah. because our drainage tank, our gray water drainage tank is over on the driver's side of the co coach. Okay. You, there's no, you don't have a... We, it's flat. Yeah. Right. It's flat floor throughout. So what we're doing is actually we've got a switch here for a macerator pump. So as you run your water in the sink, you can hit the switch and shoot the water off to the other side of the drainage tank. You can hit. Switch. He's going to hit the switch. <laughs> <laughs> you basically, it's a garbage disposal, basically, right? Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> You're not selling it as such, but but that's kind of what it is. But it is it is a. Uh, a macerator type pump. Okay, that's awesome. Um, anything else here? We got uh, still vents have, for the fridge. We still have our drawers. We still have our latches. Okay. They'll close so you can keep the drawers shut. All right. Um, let's uh, move across the hall and look at what I'm guessing is the bathroom. Mm, that's kind of stretching it. All right. So not exactly a bathroom. Well, it's actually an all-in-one gear closet and wet bath. Well, that's interesting. So, okay, let me let me see if I can guess where this came from. So, when we were at Outdoor Retail look at, and you were showing this, a lot of people said, why do you even have a toilet in there? Right. I just want to store my stuff. And so, you're giving people the option to do whatever they want? Whatever they need. Okay, so if you want just a bathroom, can you shower in there? I mean, assuming yeah, you took the shower. Absolutely. Out. You've got the drain down there for the shower. Okay. Of course, dry storage cabinet. Okay. Down below there, you can see the uh, toilet, paper. toilet paper roll. Okay. Swiveling cassette toilet. A swiveling cassette toilet. So you can sit on it however, <laughs> however you like. <laughs> Too many <Right>. jokes there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, then we got our shelves here. Now these are made out of a uh, sealed bamboo plywood. Okay. So, you know, water you're, resistant? Water, very water resistant. Okay. Very strong. You've got a rack here, too. Yep, we've got a, uh, a bar up here. It's so like a wetsuit or something right. that could hang up in there. Exactly. So, you come back in from skiing, your gear's all wet. Mm -hmm. Take your take uh, the shelves out. Take the shelves out, and you've got the perfect place to hang all of your because wet Because you gear. got a drain. Because you got a drain, yeah. Okay. Of course, you got the shower control up here. There's no nozzle on the shower control. Right. The shower is removable. You can use it here. Or you could take it back to your outside shower with the hot and cold water in the back. You shower outside? You could shower outside. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So, yeah, it's really a multi purpose uh, 
So you're not you're not imposing any one particular idea on people here. It's they right. can do whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. And when you've got the space, you know, for your big backpacks, right? And your bulky gear can go right in here. Okay. And these are complete like if you want them if you want all these shelves just totally out, they totally remove, right? They're just Absolutely. sitting yep. in there. We can just take them right out. Okay. Pull this one out. All right, so now we're here in the the bed area, I guess. Um, we got some LED lights. We're meant to sleep cross coach in this one, right? We are. How much do you know the length of how much bed we've got? Um, There's the rear of the coach there. You're gonna have. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, you're gonna I'm have like eight inches, and I'm I'm five ten, so. Right. So you're gonna have uh, seventy eight inches. You know, well of you know almost. Wow. Yeah. That's and there's a vent. There's a fan right here, and that's key. A lot of people don't realize that if you don't have a a window right by the bed, and you turn on a fan, the air just passes you by. But there, it's right. gonna hit you right on the bed. Exactly. Okay, and this bed is on some sort of well, strap lift? Yes, the bed, of course, you got you know the nice, comfortable foam mattress mm -hmm. on a European-style slat system. They're slats? They're, they're slats. Hang on, I gotta see that. Sure enough, look at that. Can you store stuff under there? Eh, maybe. I'm sure people will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then this just raises on these, uh, these straps? It does. I think we're gonna see that. All right, let's do it. Okay, first off, take a look at your storage space below. That's a pretty good amount of storage, even with the bed all the way down. Right, and how does that storage compare to most every other Class B? That's much more than you get in any Class B. You could put, like, dog crates, not surfboards, but you can get skis in there, anything like right. that. So, we raise our bed. It's magic. You could you could about fit a motorcycle in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a room, and this is why we spent so much effort uh, on the Revel. To it's a gear hauler. Yeah, this I'll is say. a true gear hauler. Wow, I mean that's uh, how tall is that? That's, that's got to be at least like five feet, right? Yeah, it's right about five feet. And then again, you get seventy-eight inches or so there at the at the wells, right. and at least. 68 here right it's the full width of the van on the inside and you can see we've got molded covers right uh, throughout the whole area in the back water resistant flooring you get water. you got you got rings is this yep. is this like for people to make their own whatever they want to strap right. down there yep anything you want to strap down cool so and you can also see 110 volt outlets right and the usb right there Okay. Again, bringing the outside. And there's your exterior shower. There's so our exterior shower. You can rig up some sort of curtain here, or not, yeah, and you want shower to. outside. Right. And that's, that's why there's it. only the one shower head, because it plugs in here the same way it plugs into the bathroom, right. so you're only carrying one. Right. It's multi-purpose. Okay. Cool. And a little storage in the doors, that seems pretty standard sprinter stuff, but this is a fantastic amount of band instruments, I'm thinking. I'm thinking bike. You could, I could get four bikes in here easy. Easily. Guaranteed. All right, you mind if I get under the coach to take a look at some of the stuff you got under there? Sure. Uh, would you like us to jack it up first? Or? <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> All right. So I'm guessing this is a fresh water tank. This is that insulated box under the fresh water tank, right? Right. So somewhere on here, back here, all right, I see the hydronic line, and that's, that's insulated as well. Right. I see battery one, two, three. I see the three batteries. Um, where is the uh, the Rickson unit itself? That'll be over on the driver's side. On the driver's side. Oh, uh, okay. It's not very big. No, it's very small actually. Okay, and other than that, there's not a lot. Where's there's a gray tank over there. Now, is the gray tank has the hydronic in it as well, right? It does. So both of these tanks should be pretty good in the winter then. And then there's not much else back. There's no generator under here no sucking time. up your, you got plenty of ground clearance under this thing. Right. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, Chris, this is one heck of a vehicle. I'm assuming you're not gonna let me drive it home. Uh, tempting, but eh, no. Yeah, so when can people get one of these? Now. Now, now is good. Now, 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 now at select Winnebago dealers. All right. So if now is good for you, it's time to jump on to one of these. We've been waiting for a year. It's finally here. This has been James from the Fit RV. Chris Peter from Winnebago. Thanks a lot. See you later. What 
what? Uh... Revel is a gear hauling adventure vehicle to help our customers. Blah 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 <laughs> blah. Have blah, extraordinary blah, blah. experiences on and off the road. <laughs> <laughs> You're off to such a good start. <laughs> <laughs>